Welcome back again guys, I'm Korts of Thought with Thunder Gaming League, bringing you another tutorial video. This week I'll be talking about Swain the Master Tactician, so let's get to it. Starting off with runes, you'll see off to the right I have 12 flat magic resist, 8.5 magic pen, 4.5 movement speed, and 11 mana regen per level. This setup allows you to have good defense against the enemy mid champion while doing decent damage. The movement speed bonus allows you allows to stay on your target or targets while Ravenous Flock is on, allowing you to deal as much damage as possible while being able to be in range to cast your other abilities as well. Now the mana regen per level with synergize will synergize with Swain's passive, allowing you to keep that mana up in lane and in team fights so you can keep up on the farm. If you wanted a more damage oriented rune page, I would suggest flat AP quins and a magic pen marks. Popping on over to Masteries, I run 13 17 0. This will give cooldown reduction you need on your abilities with extra damage and, and the taking this Swain needs to be that damage soaked CC machine he is late game. Grabbing points in Tough Skin and Bladed Armor will allow you to tank minion waves with ease, letting you hold your lane easier and harass easier, taking the least amount of damage possible. Taking points in Indomitable will also help with this. Again, if you wanted a more damage oriented build, take 2190 for the big damage bursts. It's time to talk about the character. Swain is a tanky damage over time mage whose abilities bring a lot of CC and debuffs to the playing field, granting your team advantages in team fights. Some pros of Swain is that he has great lane sustainability, and ganking him can be quite difficult due to the heavy amount of CC he has. Some cons is that High mobility will counter most, if not all, of Swain's CC abilities, so focusing someone with less mobility will be more beneficial. Moving on over to Swain's abilities, starting with his passive, Carrion Renewal. Swain regenerates mana each time he kills a unit, and the amount of mana regenerated is increased with each level. Last turn with Swain can be, for some, a little learning curve, but once you get the attack animation down, it highly benefits your lane sustain. Going over to Crepify, Swain sets a raven to cripple an enemy. Over the next 3 seconds, the target takes 25, 40, 55, 70, 85, plus 0.3 scaling, magic damage, per second, and is slowed by 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40%. Crepify will allow you to land Nevermore more easily, and with the Torment debuff on your enemy will deal significantly more damage to your target. Also landing Crepify on a mobile champion, who likes to kite will make it easier for your team to focus said target. Now for Nevermore, Swain marks a target area, and after a short delay, Talons grab hold of the enemy unit, stealing 80, 120, 160, 200, and 240, plus 0 0.7 scaling and magic damage, and rooting targets for 2 seconds. Nevermore will be your biggest damage dealing ability when Torment Debuff is on the, your target, and with good scaling, you should level it up second. Also, making a full damage combo will not be possible without Nevermore. So, learning the time of the delay before, it's act before it activates will be the key to dealing the most damage possible. Now, heading over to Torment, Swain afflicts his target for 75, 115, 155, 195, 235, plus 0 0.8 scaling, magic damage over 4 seconds. During this affliction, the target takes 8. 11, 14, 17, 20% increased damage for Swain's abilities. Torment will be your main harass ability, so leveling it up first will allow you to deal the most damage possible on an afflicted target. Lastly, Swain's ultimate, Ravenous Flock. Swain transforms into, the f into a giant raven. During this time, up to three smaller ravens attack nearby enemies each second, prioritizing champions. Each raven deals 50, 70, 90, plus 0 0.2 magic scaling and magic damage, and heals Swain for 75% of the damage dealt against champions, but only 25% against minions. The cost of Ravenous Flock is increased by 5, 6, to 7 mana each second, so using it sparingly and in short bursts in landing phase will help keep mana consumption to its minimum. Ravenous Flock will be your greatest CC ability once you obtain Rhylides. The slow of Ravenous Flock Torment and Decrepify will help your team focus the target you are. This allows for an easy focus so you are able to prioritize more easily, which makes team fights that much easier. Now, before I get into the landing phase, I'll go over the items I recommend to get on Swain. 
Now the core build only consists of three items. Swain's build should be a strong counter build to the other team. The first item is Sorcerer Shoes for extra damage or Merc Treads in case the enemy team has heavy CC. The second item is Rod of Ages, which will help with your mana early game and as it builds up will help late game as well. Now, since Rod of Ages is such an important item, I would suggest building it first. Third item will be Rylai's Crystal Scepter. Rylai's will bring a lot of health and CC to Swain, so you can get an extra, the extra souls off you wouldn't get otherwise. Now, for the rest of the items, you will get will vary depending on the enemy team. For example, if if the team is AP heavy, I would suggest after Rylai's getting an Athene's Unholy Chalice, followed by an Abyssal Scepter, then by Azonia's Hourglass. Now, if the enemy team is AD heavy at the Rylai's by Zonia's Hourglass, followed by a Frozen Heart or a Randuin's Omen, then leaving the last item for a situational purpose. Now for the starting items for laning phase will be Boots and 3 Health Pots. This will allow you to have the sustain in your lane and be able to get in to put out the harass and get back out as needed. This will also help greatly against getting away from ganks. Now for the first time you teleport back, you should have enough gold to either buy a Catalyst outright or buy both a ruby and sapphire crystal. The second time you teleport back, you should have enough to finish the catalyst or buy sorcerer shoes or merc treads, whichever is needed. Now, the third time or the fourth time you back, you should finish your rod of ages. Now, if you're just starting swing or you don't have the auto attack animation down quite right, ask for a second and third blue buffs from your jungler. Your jungler should always give you, give these to you regardless. But depending on how your jungler is doing or what summoner level you're playing at will always depend. Also, only push your lane to the enemy turret when you are about to teleport back to base. Recklessly pushing your lane will leave you very vulnerable to enemy ganks and will never end well. So remember to use your ultimate in short bursts to heal yourself, or if possible, to finish off a kill. Making lane presence of swing will determine on your ability to get in and out to harass your target and land in Nevermore. If you are unable to land Nevermore on your target, grab a level in Decrepify at level 4 so you can combo up easier. You should also try to take as little harass as you can while at the same time last hitting and harassing your opponent while he goes to get the last hits. Positioning to get Nevermore off and getting used to the delay time from when you activate it to when it goes off will take some getting used to. But once you get these things down, you'll find making lane presence will be a lot easier. Also, running Ignite will help you secure kills, especially while Torment is on your target, for the double damage over time. Now for team fighting with Swain, Swain is going to be huge damage soak during team fights. You're basically going to go in after the tank and target the first weakest champion you see, such as an AP or AD carry. Just remember you are not the tank, so do not initiate, because even with your ultimate on, you will melt if you are fully focused. Your role will be the CC the person you are targeting while CCing everyone around you at the same time. Just remember to look at your mana in the middle of team fights because you're useless without it. Now for some quick tips and a review. Having heavy damage soak swain requires you to build against the enemy team accordingly. So remember to buy the appropriate items for the situation. High mobility champions are very hard for swain to CC, so finding an easier target may benefit the situation more. Over pushing your lane with ravenous flock leave you open to unwanted ganks. Also remember Torment will increase your damage output based on what level it is at, whether it's 8, 11, 14, 17, 20% damage increase. Some item suggestions for AD heavy teams and AP heavy teams. For AD heavy, Sonya's Hourglass, Randuin's Omen, Frozen Heart, Guardian's Angel, Force of Nature. For AP heavy teams, Athene's Unholy Grail, Abyssal Scepter, Banshee's Veil, Force of Nature, Spirit Visage, or Zonia's Hourglass. Finding which combination of items fits you the most will take trial and error. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you play Swain a little better or made you want to go buy them. If you have feedback, post a comment down below. Like and favorite the video for future reference. Subscribe to stay informed about tutorials. I come out with new ones every weekend. And if you're wondering what Thunder Gaming League is, I urge you to go check out the website, which will be in the description below, for more guides and updates on League of Legends. This has been Cord's Thought, and I'll see you guys next week for another tutorial.